Hi, I'm Audrey Williams, your Techie Feely voiceover artist. This week, it's part two of our look at clouds. I know, you're asking, are you serious right now? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm glad you're here. As I mentioned in the first cloud episode, cloud types are organized by where they are in the sky, low, high, or medium. This was first done in 1802 with three forms of clouds established on appearance and characteristics of formation, cirriform, cumuliform, and stratiform. And then these were further divided into upper and lower types, depending on altitude. Let's look at those wispy clouds high in the atmosphere. They're called cirrus. Cirrus clouds usually look like feathery streaks or patches and are typically made of ice crystals because they are 6,000 to 43,000 feet above the Earth's surface. Having a blue sky and some cirrus clouds means you're having some really great weather. Fun fact, there were even cirrus clouds photographed on Neptune. That's some high altitude there. Some cloud types are mixtures of two of these main forms like cirrostratus, combining the cirrus clouds with the stratus type of cloud that covers the sky like a blanket. If you've ever been outside in the evening and seen the moon with a halo around it, it's probably because you are looking through cirrus stratus clouds. You might also have heard the phrase milky sunshine. This is referring to that milky appearance of the sky when the cirrus stratus clouds are around. Okay, let's go from those super high altitude clouds and come back down to Earth. Well, at least closer, like less than 7,000 feet above us. Another stratus cloud is the nimbostratus. These are the dark clouds that sit low in the sky, and they can have a ragged looking base and cover the entire sky so you never see an edge or an end to the cloud in any direction. Nimbostratus clouds are often the sign of an approaching warm or occluded front. When nimbostratus clouds are around, it typically means you're in for continuous, moderate precipitation, rain or snow. You know, that all day kind of steady rain that some people love. I'm not one of them, so I guess I'll look for a different kind of cloud. So that's some of the highs and lows around clouds and how they affect our weather and what we see when we go outside and look up. Happy cloud watching. And remember, the sky is not the limit. See you next time.